Welcome to this very quick demonstration of using X header to create professional header graphics. Not only are we going to demonstrate just that, we're also going to take that professional header graphic and turn it into a website using Xsite Pro, the perfect complement, of course, to the X header software. I'm going to go ahead, first of all, and click this new button in the top left hand corner because, of course, we're creating a new header graphic. And then I'm going to load from template library the selection of graphics that I can use as a starting point for my header graphic. So all I need to do is to just scroll down using the scroll bar on the right hand side until I find an image I like. This one will do just fine for now and click OK and that loads this image into our designer window here. We're just going to use some of the text functions and image functions. I'll start by adding some text to my image. Now I ought to explain that this sample header is going to be a fictitious dating success site. So the first thing I'm going to enter here is a word that's relevant to my dating success site and I'm going to change the and styles there of that, that font using the controls as you can see here. I can change the color. I can move that about until I'm happy with the position and change it so it blends into the design a bit more. Next I'm going to hit the image button and then from my hard drive I'm just going to select an image that I've created and just pop it into my design right there. I'm going to add another image there right now. Another image that I have on my hard drive again transparency and I'm going to take that back just a little bit to make it a bit more of a subtle uh, effect on the design. And then finally I'm going to add a little bit more text. This is the name of the website Dating Success. Of course essential to have the name of your website on the header graphic there. And uh, again I'll change the uh, the font there to white and this time I think we'll use, um, we'll use a stylish font here. There we go, that should be perfect. All right, so I very quickly, as you saw there, created a brand new header graphic. I just need to save that graphic now um, using the quality options there. And we'll call this header graphic, overwrite an existing one. And we're pretty much done with uh, the X header software right now. So let's head into Excite Pro. And from within Excite Pro, the first thing I want to do is to create a new website by clicking this Add Website button. And from the window that appears, I'm going to go ahead and click the blank website option because we're going to design one from scratch and click OK. And that's going to create the website and load it for us. And we can jump straight into the design here in the page layout because that's where we customize the overall look and feel of our site. And to start with, I'm going to bring in that header graphic that we just created a moment ago from my hard drive. And there we have it. I need to then continue down just making some changes here in the settings making sure that the uh, the settings are as I want them to be. We'll just make our, our uh, main panel a little bit larger and increase the spacing. That's the white space around the main panel area there. We don't need a right panel so I can get rid of that. And uh, we'll just choose a nice background image that I have on my hard drive again and to complement this style. You can see the hearts being picked up in the background image there. And that's starting to look really nice. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to head over to the Web Pages tab. Of course, we can't have a website without Web Pages. And to speed the process, I'm going to use the multi-page creation wizard here to actually generate some uh, Web Pages pretty quickly. I can just paste a list of pages that we're going to use for this demonstration in the window there and click OK. I'm going to also specify that I'd like to show them on my left-hand navigation menu. And then I click Next. I could customize the keywords and description, but I'm going to pass right by all of these settings and just create these pages. So there we have some web pages, the first of which is our home page. And I'm going to make that my actual home page for the site. And we're going to go into the design and just make some changes for this demonstration to show you how easy it is to create web page content. Now I've just pasted some content I've already got on my clipboard here. Ahead of that, I think I'm going to add a, a, an automatic widget that gives today's date just to make it look pretty cool. And you can see there's the widget wizard packed full of loads of different widgets. Uh, we're going to use the today's date one. As I mentioned, let's uh, set it to Vedana, say, 8 point. And we'll go with uh, a date format like that. And that's that installed. I'm then going to make my heading nice and bold. Um, let's uh, also give ourselves a nice subheading there. Um, we could, if we wanted to, um, change the color of our subhead very easily using uh, the tools here. It's word processor simple to change the text formatting and so on. And having changed the color there, we're going to make some more changes. Uh, the first of which I'm, is going to be a, a table. I'm going to add a table in here. Um, you'll see why in just a moment. If I right align that so it's over the right hand side of the page. In fact, we'll put it right over the right hand side there. I'm going to uh, make sure that there's no sort of forced widths 
uh, for that table. And then within it, I'm going to insert some Amazon product advertising. Now, Amazon product advertising is great for sites like this because you can specify a, a category there, even keywords, and it's going to actually dictate the, uh, the, the style or the type of adverts that appear on that web page. So it's going to make sure that they're really relevant to the, uh, the page content. I'm going to actually select that sort of size and shape. Uh, we'll make sure uh, the text is all good. Yeah, I'm happy with that as it is and just click finish. And that's going to insert that Amazon advert placeholder there ready for us. And again, that will display an advert when we come to actually presenting the uh, presenting the page. So I'll just turn off the borders and cell spacing so that it really is going to look like it's floating in the web page content there. Nice and simple. So the other change I'm going to make is uh, just to add some other monetization into my web page. This time I'm going to use Google AdSense. Now the Google AdSense, um, again, very easy to use. Uh, we'll, we'll add a, a nice banner advert there. We'll use a standard Google AdSense account. And uh, what we're going to do is, again, we're going to blend the content into our page so that it's, um, it becomes a, a more integrated part and perhaps the adverts themselves are not quite as obvious. And then click OK. I'll just center that as well in the page design. Okay, so we're, we're coming together now. We've got some monetization in the web page ready to go. Uh, I'm also going to uh, now do a little bit of um, formatting just to pique the interest of the reader, make it easier to digest the content. Um, and uh, you can see here, just again, very, very, very simple, um, simple changes. We can, uh, we can sort of pick out key points uh, in the copy. So uh, bear with me, I'm just... Uh, doing some simple changes just to break the copy up. You can see how easy it is to edit it. It really is uh, like a, a word processor, like Microsoft Word. Okay, so we've got some web pages. I've added some web page content on the home page there very quickly just to show how easy it is to do. What I'm now gonna do is just drop back to the page layout and see how that's shaping up. You can see there's a preview of the Amazon advertising. You can really see it starting to come together. The next thing I'm going to do now is just to improve this menu here, make it look a bit more interesting. And I can do that by using the menu settings in the left-hand side there. And then from the options, I can choose the style of menu that I like the look of and just change some of the settings here again, make the menu exactly as I want it to be. Um, so I'm just uh, going to tweak the settings. I don't need a border here, so I can turn that off. Um, we'll make the font, I think, black so we can see the font nice and clearly. Um, let's change that bullet color and um, we will change the, uh, the color here so that um, when we mouse over it, it goes a, a pink color as opposed to an orange. So I'm happy with those changes. And we can see here are our web pages, our actual web pages previewed. Click finish. And uh, there we have our nice attractive menu on the left hand side. That's improved that enormously. One more thing I'm going to do is just to head into the designer for that left hand panel. I'm going to add a couple of spaces there. Right click again to get this powerful right click menu. And once again, I'm going to insert some advertising. Now this time I'm going to go for a slightly different shaped advert. We'll go for a vertical banner this time. Again, making sure the settings are good, they're fine, and click OK. I'll just center that then in the page design there and drop back to the page layout. The final thing we just need to do right now is to publish that. And to publish that, all we need to do is to uh, pop some publishing details in here. Let's pop some in here and, uh, and we'll publish this to a subdirectory of that space and uh, put our publishing details in here. Okay, and we'll save our website. And then finally, we're just going to publish the site. And uh, in a few seconds, it'll just uh, upload all of the web pages, Excite Pro. The first time, of course, we published this site, it's publishing all of the files. But any changes that we made uh, in future would, uh, would only require one or two files to go up. It's uh, clever enough to know which pages have changed. With that now published, I'm just going to click the Open Website button and let's see how this website that didn't exist about 10 minutes ago has come together. In short, to round off, Xheader, incredibly powerful, really easy to create professional looking header graphics. And when used in conjunction with Excite Pro, it's a really formidable, powerful combination. And, uh, and if you don't already have Excite Pro, please do head over to ExcitePro.com and check out the full feature set.